They say, let bygones be bygones. So behold our peace where the enemies go to bygones. Because we know that's the best way for the Lord to fight our battle. We came to salvage nations, but first we gained salvation. Putting on the whole armor, we kept our hands on the plow. Because we never had plans of going back. No pulling but pushing, so we went forward. For every storm we saw, we were unrooted, firmly deep in the solid rock. And when the attack becomes tough, we don't retreat or run, we wait. Because those that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength like that of an eagle, so we soar. Moving high above the mountains and storms, we saw things with our eyes that can make us frozen, freeze, and ice. We saw weapons formed and fashioned against us, afflicted of the enemy worship. But we knew the only weapon we had to deploy was worship. A weapon not active with voice, but with spirit and truth. Like branches, we had no other choice than to abide in our vine, our roots. And if God be now me, we follow anywhere to death like roots. We are soldiers, not bankers, but we had guaranteed trust, access, and union with the first. United with the one high above the sky, zenith and polaris, who made the earth his footstool. So other planets are probably his sides too. We are soldiers, so we are always on the move with our boots. And if the enemy tries to switch us off, we reboot. We are God generals and giants, so we stand twice as tall. At first, we thought the operation was simple. That's what we thought. And in the camp, they say that the Bible is our major arsenal. And for us to strike forward with that arsenal, we don't need Gabriel Jesus, but Christ Jesus. But each day we live, we have to die for Christ to live, a living dead being living for Christ to live. So believe me when I tell you that I've gone too far to live. Today I might be dead, dirty, lanky, brown, tomorrow be fresh like a leaf. I know he's demanding, but I'm a man on a mission and I'm still standing. No retreat or surrender because I've lost a lot to gain. With no regret that we still obey him again and again. I won't say it's rosy because I've tasted thorns. And I know days when my clothes were being torn, but one thing I know in return is that tables were torn and I will receive the crown of glory and not of thorns. And this is a battle of a lifetime and I'm trapped in time. So time is not on my side. And for all the shots I had to take bullets and videos was for you to be informed. And to tell you that you don't have to go to the gym to be informed. Before you become and be a soldier, just meet me after now and pick a form. So come and be led by the Spirit. Come and behold him and become. Come, dear soldiers, come. Because once I receive the call to glory and I pick that call, I will be gone. But have it in mind, dear soldiers, that the battle has just begun. <laughs>